Hi, welcome. We are going to look at development of the uh, uh, truncated cylinder. Now, this cylinder here has been given in a question, and the question reads, draw the development of the lateral faces of a truncated cylinder whose altitude is 60 mm and base radius of 25 mm when it is cut by a 30 degree cutting plane which cuts its axis at 35 mm mark. Now, as you can see, we are going to draw the development of a truncated cylinder which has been truncated by a cutting plane. And therefore, it means our plan is a circle and our front gives us a truncated part of the cylinder. Of course, we shall first of all draw the whole cylinder, its front elevation, which is a rectangle, and then we truncate it with that line. Then from there, we develop the face of a truncated lateral part. Now what we do, let's first of all draw the plan, which is a circle. We have drawn our circle, and our circle is 25 mm in diameter. So we have to project lines from the circle to come up with our, our, our front elevation. And therefore, we are going to draw our XY plane here, where we shall put our front elevation. Having our XY, we can project our lines upwards from the plan to come up with the front. So we are going to project the axis as well up Then we measure our altitude or the height of our cylinder, which is 60 according to our question. And now we join. Once we have joined, we shall also complete our plan by having uh, divisions which are equal to 12 in number So that means we are going to divide our circle into 12 equal parts How do we do it? We take the radius Then we start at one point we make arcs And then we are going to project them vertically upwards, those points, and we can name them as 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. This one we have not marked. We want to mark it. nine ten then this one again we have also not marked eleven twelve so this point can be projected upwards to meet our front
once we have projected upwards we are going to cut the front elevation by a 30 degree line and it is at the 35th mark so we establish that point where the cutting plane passed through it is at the 35th mark at that five millimeter here is our point so at that point we shall ensure our line passes through here a line that is 30 degree so we come and make our cutting plane put this one here so we cut that's our cutting plane so we are going to ensure this back projection meets the cutting plane so we draw them We can also number this point 1, this point 2, and 12, 2 and 12, this one is 3 and 11, this one is 4 and 10, this point is 5 and 9, this one is 6 and 8, then lastly this is 7. Now that is it. Next thing is we are going to draw uh, a development on this other side. And now let's say we want to draw our development starting from a distance, let's say equal to that. So our development is beginning from here. We want to do the to cut the cylinder beginning at one. So we can have this as point one. So if we open the circumference, we open from here. It opens up and therefore we are going to have the circumference along this XY. And what is the circumference? We are going to take our pi D so that pi is 3.142 multiply diameter which is 50 and this one gives us 157.1 millimeter so we are going to take a measurement of 15.7 along that line so let's measure That's our last point. So because we started unfolding from point one, we have to finish with point one. So now once we have done that, we are going to divide the whole of this length, one, one, into 12 equal parts. How do we divide? We follow the normal procedure. You can draw a line. Then we do 12 divisions along that line. These are 12 divisions, so we are going to transfer them back to our line. And this is how we do it, using two set squares. Pick your set squares, bring this, join. Then we are transferring it. We draw parallel lines.
So basically, those are our, our divisions. We can number them. We started with one, so this one will be two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, one. So we are going to draw vertical lines along those points. Starting from here. So those lines are vertical. Those are our lines. So we are also going to project these points where the cutting plane meets these lines that fro that project are projected from the plan upwards somewhere. We have this point. We have this. We have this. So all those points, we are going to project them horizontally to meet these verticals. So we follow the procedure, we use our T-square to project them. That's our lines. So we are going to start like if we begin from line one, we get to move with it, then we find for where we have one. Like if we move with it here, it will it will give us this vertical. Then this horizontal one again, you go with it, you will get to realize that it's here. So with two and twelve, it means you go and look for two. And look for 12 on the same line then 3 and 11 we go and look for 3 on the same line 11 then 4 and 10 4 on the same line 10 on the same line here it is then 5 and 9, 5 is here, 9 is here, then 6 and 8, 6 is here, 8 is here, lastly 7 goes on its own. Therefore, with a curve, a French curve or a fine curve, we join the points. So we join So this one gives us the development of the lateral Translated part of that particular cylinder. Uh, you can as well draw the front part if you want it to be visible, but I've decided all these to be constructions except the expected development, which is a uh, lateral base for, for the translated film. Thank you very much for watching.